Good afternoon, everybody. Today we have a little gadget. This is one of those electronic uh, load tester capacity meter things with a CPU heatsink on it. <laughs> it actually has like an AMD, I think, CPU heatsink on it. It has like a transistor that it uses as the load, so probably a large transistor, and that's what's attached to that heatsink. But, um,. I, I kind of meant to get one of these for a while. You can do a capacity test on your batteries. You can do a capacity test on individual cells. Quite handy. Uh, it does up to 20 amps. I think this heat sink can dissipate like 150 watts. So for smaller batteries, uh, probably uh, doesn't take very long to run a capacity test. For larger batteries, you know, it might take a day or multiple days. But it just sits there and runs and um, it does its thing. Uh, it has a little screen here, which essentially is the the uh, readout of the shunt. So there's a little, if you see here, there's a shunt, and uh, it's just going to count the amp hours and the watt hours. These controls here are uh, the the amount of load, so how, how much power current you're going to tr uh, draw. So really, what it is is that this thing is just an electronic load that you use the, these to control, and then a screen that just counts the power used. So anyways, I haven't, uh, I did hook it up to see how it, figure out how it functions, but I haven't used it to, to test anything yet. So I've got a lithium iron phosphate prismatic cell here that I do know is a, a weaker cell. It does not come in at 25 amp hours. It comes in a little lower, like around 20, you know, somewhere around 24, 24 and a half or something like that, because I've already done a capacity test on it. So I know this one should not reach 25. So I think this will be a good test of this tester. Uh, I'm going to hook it up and we're going to start running a test. Okay, and I'm back. So here we go. Um, got it powered up. It has to be powered from its little AC adapter, which plugs in back here which can be confusing because there are plugs, barrel plugs all over this thing, and those aren't the right places to plug it in. It's back here. I had to figure that out. And uh, so it has a couple of different screens you can scroll through, which seem to be telling me basically the same information. Um, I think this is the low cutoff. I've set this vol uh, voltage right here, so I don't want it to go below 2.5. I think that's what that means. We definitely will find out. Uh, the first screen is in Chinese, not very helpful. Uh, we go to the next. Yeah, I think these are just kind of various different screens. I don't know, let's just leave it on this one. Uh, when you hold the button down a long press, it resets everything. So I guess we're, we're ready. I've got the battery hooked up here, the cell, and I'm going to adjust the course current. There we go, fan started moving. Uh, we're drawing 2.3 amps. It's counting the watt hour and amp hour. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna crank this up to, because that's 18 amps. And then there's a fine adjust, so will this let me go further? Will this let me go to 20? I actually can go past, okay, I can go like 21.7. Let's just do 20. And the reason why I want to just do 20 is because <laughs> uh, this is just 12 gauge wire, which is rated for 20. Uh, so we don't want to go out over that and melt the wire. And I guess if you switch, does it still? Yeah, so it's still counting everything properly. So there we go, guys. I'm going to let this run. And uh, whenever it stops, hopefully it stops at 2.5 volts. Um, whenever it stops, we'll see what the capacity is. I would expect it to be, you know, around 24 amp hours. All right, see you then. Well, guys, test is still running. Um, 
But I'm actually kind of liking this thing. It's, it's kind of cheesy as it is. <laughs> it's quite simplistic. And so far it seems to be working just fine. It's uh, pulled 18.7 amp hours. So pretty close to the test being completed. Definitely am interested if, if it stops testing at uh, uh, 2.5 volts. If you're testing a single cell and it keeps going past that, it's gonna it's going to ruin your cell. So we want to make sure that uh, I'm not doing that. So anyways, I'm gonna let this keep going and I'll be back. All right, guys. Uh, and so we're almost there. Actually, we're at 2.53 and 24.4 uh, amp hours. Um, I. That's basically the exact same result I got using my uh, VAT4300 shunt that I always use. So that's good. Oh, and it stopped. Cool, guys. Check it out. It stopped at 2.5. Well, did it stop or is it just warning? <laughs> is it keep, does it keep going? Is that the thing? Oh, it stopped. Yeah. Cool. So it actually does stop. Uh, well, there. I guess when you push the button, it starts again. But anyways, um, yeah. So uh, twenty, you know, twenty-four and a half amp hours. Uh, Seventy-two point three four watt hours so perfect thing is pretty neat you know i wish it would do more power like uh, it maxes out at 150 watts but um i think there's some uses i'm going to be able to do i mean i i could actually do a whole full battery discharge it's just going to take longer no big deal i can just leave it alone you know not worry about it and come back the next day or something if you're buying like batteries from china <laughs> and you're not so certain about the capacity if you're getting ripped off this is a good tool because you can actually test your battery and see if you're getting jacked you know even ones from amazon or ebay if you're buying you know lithium iron phosphate batteries from amazon or ebay you probably want to have something like this so you can do a capacity test to see if you got jacked because i've bought batteries off ebay that that uh they just lied about the capacity. It's not. It's not correct. Anyways, uh, cool little uh, device here. Um, it's definitely a convenience item. I, I'm still going to continue to use my my big shunt for most of my test, but um, this is handy. Um, I dig it. I'll put a link in the description yeah, where you can get it if you want to buy it. I think it's like. Fifty dollars or something like that on Amazon. But that's it for this video. I'll catch you on the next one.